defenders are, are not doing their job. William Saliba will have done by himself. If I want to be cynical, I will say, where was William Saliba in the Man United game that we lost 3-1? Like, let, let, let's get it right. William Saliba has been outstanding. He has been sensational. He has lived up to his hype. But you don't have to trample on Gabriel. Gabriel has made a few mistakes. I get it. But he's still a fantastic defender. He's an aggressive defender that likes to get to the ball. Nine out of ten, he will make the right tackle. Yes, once in a while, he will he will concede penalties or he seem rash. He's still 24. You don't need to trash him. I get and I understand William Saliba is younger. But sometimes, talented players uh, show outstanding quality. It's not by age. Is not by the clinical age of some of some players. Sometimes some players are just naturally fantastic, and it happens. That is not how, but doesn't mean you have to deride or demean and cast aspersions on Gabriel. Gabriel has been fantastic. Now this habit because William Saliba is a new Arsenal defender. Now let's trash the rest of the of, of the defenders. Let's not forget Ben White and Gabriel were fundamental and instrumental in all getting Europa League last season. Actually, climbing to fifth last season. Yes, I. Hi, guys. Welcome to the channel. If you're new and you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stick a like on the video for the upgrade. Very important. So we can grow this channel together. And make sure you turn on your notification bell so that when I drop a pre recorded video or I go live, which I do sometimes, you can get notified. We know YouTube sometimes we're messing with the notification. Make sure you check your notification bell and make sure you turn it on. So that when I go live or I post pre-recorded videos like this one, I'm going to post, you can get notified. Uh, let's speak on the latest news on William Soliba. We are hearing that uh, preliminary talks uh, started uh, towards extending his contract. That's some good news, even though there's been a bit of panic. We know that William Soliba has uh, less than two years on his contract. And he has been playing out of this world. He has been the best defender, in my opinion, amongst the experience at Arsenal. Uh, that is not shitting on other defenders. Like, let, let me correct this. We need to stop this comparison all the time and this habit of shitting on other defenders or trampling on other defenders just to hoist and praise one. Now, William Saliba has been playing fantastic. He looks like Arsenal's best defender at the moment, which is fine. But that doesn't mean Tomiyasu, Ben White, or Gabriel are uh, shit. Like, can we just actually give these players their flowers? Defending is a collective tax and duty. William Soliba, regardless of how fantastic he has been individually, uh, how calm he has been, even though he stands out among his peers, doesn't mean the rest of the defenders are, are not doing their job. William Soliba will have done by himself. If I want to be cynical, I will say, where was William Soliba? In the Man United game that we lost 3-1. Like, let, let, let's get it right. William Saliba has been outstanding. He has been sensational. He has lived up to his hype. But you don't have to trample on Gabriel. Gabriel has made a few mistakes. I get it. But he's still a fantastic defender. He's an aggressive defender that likes to get to the ball. Nine out of ten, he will make the right tackle. Yes, once in a while, he will he will concede penalties or he seem rash. He's still twenty four. You don't need to trash him. I get and I understand William Saliba is younger, but sometimes talented players uh, show outstanding quality. It's not by age. It's not by the clinical age of some of some players. Sometimes some players are just naturally fantastic, and it happens. That is not how, but doesn't mean you have to deride or demean and cast aspersions on Gabriel. Gabriel has been fantastic. Now, this habit because William Saliba is a new Arsenal defender now, let's trash the rest of the, of, of the defenders. Let's not forget, Ben White and Gabriel were fundamental and instrumental in all getting Europa League last season, actually climbing to fifth last season. Yes, I know you will say we bottled it or we couldn't qualify for the champion. I get it. But they were instrumental in the growth of the team. So let's stop this habit of trying to just trash other defenders and hoist one defender. They can all be praised. They can all be good simultaneously. All this, no, we just have to raise one defender and make him uh, the, the mantra and trash other. I, I think that habit is just unfortunate. And so this is perpetrated by the online fans. There are a lot of, I don't like, the word, like to use the word toxic, but there are a lot of insane fans online. That will just put out these propagandas and this and run with these uh agendas and narrative that we just have to trash 
other players and just hoist one. They are all good players, in my opinion. Now, are there players that stand out? You can name your standout players and give them their flowers, but you don't have to trash other players. It's a team duty. It's a team effort. William Silva don't win or defend by himself. He has teammates. So let's correct that fact. Like I said, I'm happy uh, William Soliba is having those preliminary talks with Arsenal in, in, uh, for, for him to renew his contract or to extend. I think that would be the proper word, to extend his contract. That's some good news. Hopefully it can get done bef uh, before the World Cup or after the World Cup. The fact that uh, William Soliba is saying he's loving London, he's loving Arsenal, he's loving his teammates, that, 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 that's a good sign. That's, a good, that's some good news. So we can all be optimistic. This pessimism of him and Arteta not liking each other or wanting to, to leave the club, you can all show that that nonsense. I understand he felt like he wasn't given a chance when he came three years ago. I get it. But I think it was all for his own personal development. Arsenal was in a crash at that time. Arsenal was not the team that if you train William Soliba at that time, I don't think he will have developed to be the William Soliba we're seeing right now. Let's be real. He was young. He was going through bereavement, personal crisis. I don't think training at that time will have made him the player he, he is right now. I'm sure. And I'm, I think he even acknowledged it in one of his interviews. So regardless of the narrative pushed by some section of Arsenal fans, you guys are not making sense. You don't know better than Edu. You don't know better than Arteta. These are the, the people that know and see Soliba one-on-one -on -one and get to train with him and see him in person and speak to him. All you see is seen on Instagram or seen... Uh, same on you. You don't have any personal relationship with him. You never had a chat with him. But you think you know better than the managers and the coaches and the uh, sporting directors. That is insane. I'm not saying we can't do our research and read uh, stories and do a bit of it. But the fact remains, there are some other things or facets that you might not be opportune to, that are theta and they are opportune to. I know he made some statements in France, but those are still subject to interpretation. And we know when you translate French to English sometimes, the context is missing. If you're intelligent enough, or you're not being cynical or sinister, you know context can be lost in translation. So like I said, I'm, I'm excited, and I will not share the sentiment or the narrative of giving whatever I want. I don't think so. I think giving what is fair and affordable. I think that's the right uh, way of phrasing it. I, I get it. We don't want to lose him. But if he chooses to leave, I, I won't throw a force around it. I won't be that angry. I love Arsenal. I love Arsenal players. I think fans need to be smart and understand that you cannot force players to stay in your team. Regardless of how much you love them, much you rate them, uh, you cannot force them to stay. Uh, secondly, the, the, any player cannot hold any club to ransom. Arsenal can pay premium wages to any player in the world. We are, one, we are, we are, we are actually one of the top of the clubs that are actually financially buoyant to do that. But at the same time, fairness and and the fact that affordability has to come in in, in 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 this kind of negotiations is 21 if you give him whatever he wants in the next two or three years what will be demanding at that time i just think he should be giving what the market detects what is premium and what is fair and affordable especially what is fair and affordable what the club can afford i have about a uh, contract to saka about 200k i'll do a video regarding that which i don't subscribe to i just think Give him a fair basic, and you can put some incentives and bonuses, winning bonuses, if you win a trophy, all those clauses that can add uh, the required incentive to bulk up the pay. But to give him a baseline that is huge at 21, what will he get at 22? I get it, the likes of Chelsea, Real Madrid, even back out with stepping around. But guess what? We can pay as much as they can pay, provided it's fair and affordable. If Baka or Real Madrid want to break the bank for Soliba and they can afford it, fair, fair and square. And if Arsenal cannot afford it, we can sell him for a premium and reinvest the, the money. I remember Coutinho left Liverpool. Everybody was thinking that would be the end of Liverpool. No, Liverpool re uh, reinvested the money and they got more trophies and won more matches and they were doing better than when Coutinho was there. I'm not saying Soliba is not a fantastic player we should try and keep, but we should try and keep him under paying him what is fair and affordable. I'm not subscribing to this nonsense fans do. Just give what they want. You, you know, as who operates in that manner that you just give what they want. You give what people can earn and afford and people are worth. You can't just give what they want. Like, it's not just, it's not feasible. It's not, it's not just sensible. 
Now, it's easy to just say that because you are just a bloody fan. I guess I'm saying that to those fans that are cynical, to those fans who would like to push narrative for likes and views, you have to say that. Like, you can't just give him what he wants. You will give him what he deserves, what he earns, and what the market dictates, and what the club can afford. Those are the parameters that the club should operate within, not just give him what he wants. Like I said, I love William Soliba. I think I'm, I'm very optimistic. I'm... 80% optimistic he'll sign a new deal. And I think Arsenal will pay him what he deserves. I, I'm just very optimistic. Now, I understand some of you will want him to sign a contract as quick as possible. These things don't work that way. Just be patient. I know Edu and Ateta will try to uh, do what's best for the club. And let's hope Soliba uh, continues to enjoy playing for Arsenal, enjoy the fact that his future will be better as us now winning with us now. I think as now in the next few seasons, we can keep all our best players and add a few. Uh, we can compete with Man City regardless of what the narrative is being pushed in the mainstream media. I think we can we can we can put up a fight. So guys, let me know your opinion on this. Uh, are you optimistic so about signing a new contract or you're simply sharing the old pessim pessimism about that? Uh, and let me know about the the narrative being pushed that give him what you want, give giving him what he wants, or as much you give him what they can afford. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure you turn your notification bell and make sure you like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.